Breaking news coming in this evening and this is a big headlines today. Impact commanding officer of INS Talwar, a frontline frigate, has been relieved of his command. We are also being told that another commanding officer too has been relieved of the command of his ship. However, the Navy is maintaining that his transfer was due. A board of inquiry has also been ordered into a submarine INS Sindhu Ghosh episode where the ship had reported zero depth below its keel, essentially hitting the ground. Headlines today, remember, had first reported these incidents plaguing the Indian Navy. Sources are telling headlines today that the Navy has begun action despite initially dismissing them as minor incidents. Also, sources also telling us that the Navy is highly irked by these incidents and wants to set them right. Sources also saying that the Navy was under pressure to act after Defence Minister A.K. Antony also sought a detailed report from the Navy base. That's uh, after reading headlines today's report. Let's get in a word from our correspondent Jugal Purohit who is getting us this breaking uh, story this uh, evening. Jugal, almost six incidents in six months' times. Finally, the Navy responding, especially after headlines today, brought these stories to light. Absolutely, Simi. In fact, uh, all along that uh, we've been trying and getting a reaction from the, from the Navy, all that we were told uh, was that these were minor incidents and in a big operational Navy, these minor incidents do not count as much. However, this incident and now what we are reporting for our viewers that the Navy has decided to crack the whip, uh, two commanding officers have now been relieved of their command. We, ha we have their names, but we will not be using or publicly putting their names out because it's nothing personal. But these two uh, very, very senior officers of the Indian Navy holding the rank of captains of two frontline frigates have been relieved of their command. In the first instance, the INS Talwar is a stealth frigate uh, which, which was built in Russia and uh, this uh, frigate uh, was uh, commanded by a captain rank officer. He's been relieved of his command. The INS Betwa is another frigate. However, it was built indigenously, designed and built indigenously. Uh, the CEO uh, has been also relieved but the Navy maintains that this uh, transfer took place on account of the fact that he had all already completed his tenure so one doesn't really need to read too much into uh, his transfer it was a routine matter also what is extremely important uh, is that after initially saying that there was no incident whatsoever the Indian Navy has now said that there was indeed an incident uh, with regards to its kilo class submarine the INS Sindhu Ghosh uh, which had hit the ground temporarily uh, off Bombay uh, uh, last week uh, uh, the, and we had reported that incident for our viewers uh, after initially saying that there was no incident whatsoever However, the Navy has now right. uh, been forced to order a board of inquiry. The Defence Minister, too, after headlines today's report, had sought a report from the Navy with regards to the submarine. Remember, all of this coming at a time when the Navy is getting increasingly mired in these incidents, these minor incidents, as the Navy had turned, uh, termed them. And uh, the, the, the top brass of the Indian Navy is extremely irritated with all these incidents taking place because the Navy right. is right now on an upswing. It wants to expand its horizon, but these incidents are bogging it down. Right, Jugal, you're telling us that a board of inquiry has been uh, ordered now six incidents in six months' time. Can you quickly recap for our uh, viewers what these six incidents were? Absolutely, Simi. In fact, uh, the first one took place in August 2013, as we are aware of uh, the Sindhu Rakshak, a kilo-class submarine again of the Indian Navy, uh, which had multiple explosions and it sank, killing all of those on board in August. This was followed by two incidents, in fact, three uh, in the month of December, where, uh, where a minesweeper, the INS Konkan, inside the Wysag, uh, uh, inside the naval dockyard in Wysag, uh, had, a, had a fire in its engine room that was followed by an accident of the INS Talwar, the frigate. The, the commanding officer of which has now been relieved of his command, it hit a fishing vessel and 27 people had to be rescued, fishermen had to be rescued. Uh, we are also aware that in that case the police had blamed the fishermen but nevertheless the Navy is not taking any chances. Another uh, frontline frigate, the INS Tarkash, had a rough uh, berthing when it uh, crashed uh, next to the jetty of Bombay. Apart from that, another uh, a, a missile boat, a corvette INS Whipple, e e coming out after uh, out of a normal refit, uh, had, it, had its pillar compartment completely inundated with water flooded owing to a hole uh, it had to return from an operational deployment not just that the INS Betwa another frontline frigate of the Navy uh, reported a crack in its sonar dome uh, this is an extremely serious incident the Navy acted on that too it has now as we are just reporting uh, relieved the CEO of his command but it maintains that it's a routine transfer and last but not the least was the INS Sindhu Ghosh episode the kilo class submarine which had a 
temporarily which had temporarily hit the ground uh, of bombay uh, uh, of of mumbai and uh, the, the commanding officer in fact in its in his signal to the, to his higher authorities had used these words uh, that there is zero depth beneath the keel which on, which only goes to show that there was zero depth beneath uh, the bottommost part of the submarine and the ground of bombay it had a rough uh, you know grounding uh, however fortunately no damage was done the ship uh, the boat is now sailing the crew was fine uh, the ship was also retrieved uh, in, in in a matter of few hours but these incidents only go to show uh, simi that there is something wrong with the navy that the, the navy needs to you know focus perhaps uh, on on the on the nuts and bolts there is some issue which is taking place which is niggling the indian navy remember we 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 are aware and we've been reporting how the indian navy is expanding in its horizon in its scope in its area of responsibility the navy is looked upon by many of our neighboring uh, countries but these incidents obviously not looking good for the indian navy they are tying the navy down and and reducing and and you know holding its march towards its larger ambitions towards its larger responsibilities that is of securing the sea lanes of communication across the indian ocean something uh, that the american navy uh, you know is has joined hands uh, with the indian navy the japanese maritime self defense forces want to exercise with the indian navy so on one side is is an expanding arena of uh, you know of of global cooperation for the indian navy but on the other side these are small incidents these are incidents which have not costed lives but are extremely important because the navy seems to be continuously being bogged down for the last 6 to 7 months in addressing these smaller issues to me right and jugal as you yourself had uh, reported earlier this week the navy has been trying to dismiss these incidents and wasn't even ready to take up uh, a, a order a proper inquiry till there was pressure from the defense minister which only happened after we highlighted all of these incidents together Absolutely Simi there is no chance of making a mistake out here these are not minor incidents these are not incidents which can be brushed under the carpet the navy needs to you know get real acknowledge these incidents and say what it is about to do towards ensuring that these incidents do not bog the navy down and uh, yes unfortunately the navy's initial stand was to actually brush it under the carpet they said there was no incident of this type whatsoever uh, only later on coming to around coming around to admit that there were these incidents and after we reported on the INS Sindhu Ghosh episode the defense minister none less than the defense minister sought a report from the navy and this board of inquiry has now been ordered as a result of all of that so uh, yes it is true simi what you're saying that the navy was initially not at all ready to accept and acknowledge these incidents uh, we were not getting replies to our questions our queries that we had sought uh, but finally action seems to have been taken and uh, and we do maintain yet again that these are minor incidents these are these are however very very important incidents and the navy needs to acknowledge them the navy needs to address them back to you Hey Jugal thanks so much for that uh, update